Hey Blender fans, here's a short tutorial about rigging a low poly weapon. You can see the model in Blender 2.90 but you can use 2.8 as well. It is low poly and has several separated parts that you can select when hovering over these and pressing the L key. But it is all one object. For these parts here I want to use a root bone that I can use to move and rotate the whole object. And then I want to have bones, one for the trigger, this one, and another one for the pistol magazine, which is this part. Okay, so let's get started. I go to object mode and add an armature by pressing shift and A. A bone is created, which is really big. This will be the root bone, I rename it to root. And I switch to edit mode and grab the head and the tail and move it to a position like that. Be sure to have the view snapped when you do this, so that you don't move the bone for the y-axis, just for X and Z. Okay, to see the bone better I go to the armature tab and select in front and I use this position because I think that's good for rotating the pistol. A good pivot point and now I go ahead in edit mode, select the bone and press shift and D to duplicate it. And this will be the bone for the mag, so I bring it to this location and name it mag. Naming is important, you will see why in a moment. Alright, one more bone, I duplicate this one for the mag and move it over here. And this will be, as you see, the bone for the trigger. Don't forget to set the name to trigger. And now comes the parenting for the bones, I select this one for the mag and then the root bone. In edit mode, hold the shift key for selecting both and then press Ctrl and P to parent and choose keep offset. And the same thing I do for the trigger bone. Great, and when you go to pose mode now and select the root bone, you see you can already transform the whole armature. And now we go ahead in object mode and define the armature as parent of the pistol. So first select the object, then the armature, press Ctrl and P to parent, and then select with empty groups. And what happened then, you see this here in the data properties, is that for the pistol, vertex groups are created, an empty group for every bone. And the other thing that is added is an armature modifier for which the armature of the pistol is used as object and for the binding, vertex groups are checked. So the only thing we have to do now is to go to the vertex groups and assign the mesh parts that we want to deform with the bones. Okay, first for the root bone I select the whole mesh, then I deselect the trigger and the mag. You can do this by holding the shift key and then press the L key while hovering over this, then assign. Okay, now the root bone is bound to this vertex group that I can deselect now. Then comes the trigger. Again, I assign it to the trigger vertex group. And the last one is the mag. Press L to select it. Then the vertex group and assign. Okay, and you know what? That's all you have to do. The model is rigged. You can select the armature and go to pose mode. And then you can move or rotate the bones and animate the separate parts. Here the whole mesh by using the root bone, or just the trigger, and with this bone you can animate the mag. And I wanted to show this because it is done in so many tutorials the wrong way, you don't need weight painting or all this stuff, just use the vertex groups for the bones. By the way, I'm just using these principles to create a low poly FPS game kit. Of course, by using Blender, you see here some animations for an arm and hand rig. The weapons will be switchable. Here you can see an aim animation. The development has started yesterday, but I will keep you informed about updates. My plan is to create a Unity game asset. I guess I will name it low poly FPS kit. I already imported the first animations and created a very simple FPS controller. 
and I promise it will be affordable. It will be for students and indie game devs. Okay guys, I hope you like this tutorial. If you do, then don't forget to subscribe to JNM. If you have any questions, then add these to the comments below. Follow me on my social media on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram and I see you soon in the next one.